happening now. We are back here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the final first round game in the 2018 Exped SMNBTC National Finals. It will be the 5 seed NU Bulldogs against number 26 seed Bacolod Taitung High School. I'm Randolph Leonson on the call with Sir Ruben Tarado bringing you the final first round duel between these two champion teams. The winner of this game will face Adamson in the Sweet 16 while the loser will be demoted to the Division 2 with against Notre Dame of Mid Sayap. So Randolph, uh, NU is first premier runner finish in the UAAP season 70. They lost to Ateneo in the finals. It, it was a best of three affair. It went, it reached three games. Meanwhile, Bacola Taitung, they, are, they were victorious in the, the seeding round. They won over University of Luzon Dagupan 87-62 with James Barrera. Very impressive in that game along with Ryan Cruz and Harold Alarcon. Of course, NU making their debut here in this year's NBTC tournament. They were seeded as the UAAP runner-up and tip off in a bit. Yeah. NU wins the tip. Son takes a shot from three, no, and out of bounds. Sir, you mentioned kanina yung uh, impressive players like James Barrera, tsaka si Harold Alarcon sa Taitong. Sino ba yung masabi nating player to watch natin sa NU? Well, NU, very loaded ang talent na tong NU and... Siguro ang pinaka-notable one is Carl Tamayo. He, he may, hindi siya naglaro ng UAAP Finals but he is part of the Gilas uh, uh, pool for the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. He is a uh, 6'7 center so tignan natin kung this would be... I think this is not his first game with NBDC dati, naglaro na rin siya. So we'll see kung anong magiging performance niya for this game. James Barrera scoring the first two points in this game as... Bahol and Taitung forces a turnover, but NU employing a pressing defense. But it seems like Bahol and Taitung is well equipped in battling that as Barrera misses that one. Another stop there for Bahol and Taitung. Ryan Kuhn stops and pops. 4 2 lead for Bahol and Taitung High School. Good start for Bacolod. Mukhang kailangan nila itong gawin so they, get, they could get their confidence going going up against this formidable enemy squad, Randolph. How Habillonar couldn't end the dry spell for the Bullpups. Ryan Cruz finding someone, struggling to find someone. He gives it up. And... James Barrera misses the three, but they get the offensive board. Ryan Cruz plots another attack. Cruz against Manala. Shoots it, and he scores. 6 0 lead now for Bacola Taitung. Great play there for Taitung. And you, they need to score in this play. Uh, Bacola getting a lot of confidence against this any squad. Another stop there for the visitors. We've got an encouraging crowd. Willing Baholit Taitung as Ryan Cruz gets a floater, but that's no go. Another steal there. It's Valencia to James Barrera who scores. And one. Great defense on the part of Baholit Taitung. Another score there for Barrera. Over uh, Ryan Amsali, three-point three opportunity there for 
Bacolod Taito. Sir Ben, uh, sinasabi natin yung mga regional champions, hindi sanay sa malalaking venue tulad ng Mall of Asia Arena. Pero yung Taito, mukhang na-challenge talaga sila as a... Uh, Barrera couldn't complete that three-point play, but an 8-0 lead now for Bacolod Taitung. Ito si Barrera. Grabe ang uh, potential ni kumbatang to. He has the size. He can match up against this, those players from Metro Manila. Another miss there from Miguel Oxon. And you is desperate for a basket. Seven minutes remaining in the first quarter. As... Alec Tan gives it back to Ryan Cruz. Ryan Cruz. Now it's Fritz Valencia who tries. 10-0 lead for Bacolod Taitung. What happened to NU? I think NU just, just need to settle down. 10-0. Um, I'm sure they can come back to this game, but they need to settle down Randolph. Ryan Cruz lines another three, but he misses. There's a foul. I think that will be against number eight, Miguel Oxon. Baholo Taitong is in phase against the powerhouse and you. Six minutes and 24 seconds remaining. Again, we are live at Hoop X Basketball and at the SMNBTC Facebook page as Baholo Taitong takes a 10-0 lead midway through the first quarter. Cruz misses the floater. And now, Amsali ends the drought. 10-2 still for Baholo. This might be the, 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 the spark that the NU needs. They're down by eight. Barrera couldn't get the undergold stab. And you with another chance. Another miss, but they will get another possession. Cortea finally gets a three. Gets the lead down to five. 10 5 for Bacolo Taitung. Cortea, one of the shooters of Enyo, kailangan mantayan ito ng Bacolod Taitung. We have 5 minutes and 28 seconds in the first quarter, Randall. A steal for Enyo. He misses. Another miss. And Bacolod gets another chance. Sobrang Sir. struggle nung nangyayari Sir. sa Enyo ngayon. Sir. And Bacolod Taitung is showing ano, poise Kanino? against Wala, uh, this powerhouse Enyo squad. Coach Goldwyn Monteverde looking for a spark. As Amsali almost got that steal. But Taitung made some changes. Great showing for the regional champions early on. They lead 10-5 in the first quarter. And you continues to tighten up their defense. Oh. Michael Malonzo forcing Baholo Taito to help. And they force the turnover on the break. Nice move there for Kevin Kiambao. Sorry, that's uh, Winderlich Coyoca. Koyoha is known as uh, a shooter for NU. And he will get two. He gets the first to roll. Four minutes and 44 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Koyoha goes perfect from the line. That's 11 to 7 now. Still for Baholo Taitung. Pressure defense being employed. Ryan Cruz. Has a rock. Cruz shoots it. He didn't make it. Barrera gets a rebound. A miss. But Baholo Taitung will get the possession. Alarcon tries but misses. And you on the attack. 
Fortea finds the gap, but was fouled. Terence Fortea trying to make things happen for the Bullpups. As Antonio Cacho comes in for Bacolod Taitung, and so will JP Hereza. Sitting out is Ryan Cruz. Sir, I've, I've watched yung UAAP finals and a lot of people were impressed with this kid, Terence Fortea. Medyo maliit, medyo matapang. Ano bang ang kaya niyang dalhin para sa inyo ngayon? Well, for one, foreign guard siya, pero he can shoot the ball. He's a shooter. And of course, yung experience din playing in games such as this. He's part of Batang Vila, so national team yun. So the experience is there for Terence Fortea. As we see, Christian Gamau misses the baseline. J. and you has a chance to tie the game. But a steal there from Allen Kagalawan. Bacolod Taitung is showing why they belong in this tournament of champions. Alarcon. Alarcon goes inside, but he loses the ball. And you will take possession with 3 minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Bacolod, uh, they're uh, medyo natigil yung kanilang they are on a scoring drought. 8 nothing run for NU. As we see here, Terence Fortea hitting a 3. Terence Fortea showing the range as NU Bullpups take the 11-10 lead. 3 minutes remaining in the first quarter. Grabe yung recovery ng NU dito, sir. Bacolo does not scored in three minutes. It's an 11 nothing run now for the Bullpups. Ryan Cruz couldn't end that drought. I'm sorry, that's uh, Antonio Cacho, but they get a stop. Cacho, three on one, he takes it all, all the way. But on the recovery is Christian Gamau. 12-11 for Bacolo Taitung. Gamau, the big man of of Bacolod Taitung, as we see here, an airball shot for NU and Bacolod running again. On the attack is Bacolod Taitung. Stops and pops, but that won't go. Antonio Cacho draws a foul. Two minutes and 23 seconds in the first quarter. As we see here, Cyril Gonzalez checking in for NU. Ito ang gusto na, ito ang ang ating makikita ngayon yung depth ng NU although they had a slow start I think they have the the manpower to come back arrest some guys at e, they can go as far as 10 deep eh. sa so, tingin ko it's a lineup na to ng NU Antonio Cacho settles for a split there to make it a two point game for Bacolod Taitung as we see here NU plotting their next attack I believe that's Carl Tamayo who traveled. Pressure defense again for NU. Mike, I'm sorry, that's uh, Robert Minerva tries for a steal but was called for a foul. Sir, pinag pa natin kanina yung slow start ng NU and you expounded dun sa depth nila. Feeling nyo ba sir, yung after that slow start with the changes that Coach Goldwyn did, will do the trick after the strong start from Bacolod Taito? Yes, you know, yun ang uh, malaking tanong sa Bacolod Taito. How can they sustain this strong start of dahil tong NU, they are the manpower, we have Carl Tamayo, meron pa silang Jerry Abadiano and also be a spark for NU. So let, let's see kung kaya mag-respond ng Bacolod dito. JP Hereza misses the short stab, but Baholo Taitung forces another turnover. Medyo same yung naging tema ng laro natin sa simula, sir. Baholo Taitung making a living out of turnovers. Ito yung ginawa nila sa University of Luzon, Dagupan, dun sa seeding round kahapon. Parang feeling nyo ba, ito, si Alarcon. As we see, Alarcon was blocked there. As Enyo goes and attack. Going back, sir. Feeling nyo ba yung, yung ganun na carelessness ng kalaban, yung makakapagpanalo sa Bacolod Taito? Uh, I believe so, pero 
uh, team like Enyo medyo mahirap mag uh, commit ng mistakes to they rarely they rarely make mistakes they have the experience to, to play in big games so sana hopefully ma yung mga turnovers ng Enyo makakonvert naman doon ng Bacolod as we see here Michael Malonso buries his first free throw now in the second he was short but he gets the rebound Michael Malonzo with a reverse three-point play as NU takes a 14 to 13 lead another stop there for NU final minute here in the first quarter Gonzalez misses the fadeaway Bahol of Taipung has been ready for this NU bullpup squad despite just a little over 24 hours of preparation as we see here Andy Villamere misses and you it's another chance on the break and Winderlich Koyoka draws a foul and you and you getting a spark sa kanilang uh, second stringers Malonso's crappy player kanina he made a, an offensive rebound they're also doing wonders on defense so this is a uh, Good opportunity for NU na mapahinga rin yung mga starters nila. Through 15 games across Mall of Asia Arena, Cuneta Astrodome, and Palm Coast Marina, parang once pa lang yata in the first round na merong upper seed na nakapanalo. Yes. Uh, I mean, lower seed na mm -hmm. nakaabante. Parang we've been lacking on upsets. What does NU need to do to avert when falling to that trap then, uh, Sir Ben? Well, I think, like I said kanina, they have the manpower to to really uh, dominate this game. Kailangan lang nila siguro um, wag na mag-overconfident. Mag As we see here, the entry of uh, Carl Tamayo is a uh, first appearance in this game, uh, Randolph. Yes, uh, Carl Tamayo, uh, one of the young kids included by Coach Chotres in his 23 for 23 list. As we saw there, Andy Villamere missed two free throws. 18 seconds for NU to have the last say in this first quarter. On the ball is Jerry Abadiano, former uh, Arellano star. Abadiano goes outside. Oh. So and that's no, 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 no. NU. Gonzalez. will take the 18-3 lead after that three-pointer by Cyril Gonzalez. Great resiliency being shown there by NU after falling to Baholot Taitung 10-0 in the start. Uh, Sir Ben, ano yung nakita ninyong magandang ginawa ng NU after yung medyo flat start from from their starters? Well, for one, yung second unit nila, they did the job. Playing good defense, uh, getting those rebounds, and of course, nakita rin natin yung depth talaga ng NU. Kahit sino, pwedeng gumawa sa kanila. So, for, for Bacolod naman, they had a good start. Yun nga lang, tignan natin kung masustain nila itong run na to kasi kanina sa first quarter, Randolph. Again, this is the 2018 Exped SM NBTC National Finals. The final first round game for today here at Mall of Asia Arena between number 5 seed NU and number 28 seed Baholod Taitung High School. This is Randolph Leonson with Sir Ruben Terado on the call. NU leading 18 to 13 after that horrible start of theirs. Their depth showing as they held Baholod to just 3 points in the remaining 7 minutes of that first quarter as Harold Alarcon and his teammates looks to retort here in the second quarter. Alarcon lines up for the three. That's short. And now, NU looking to add up. Abadjano. But they couldn't capitalize on that one. Randolph, in lineup nila sa second quarter, we have Tamayo, Kiambao, Abadjano. This is the future of the bullpup, so this is an interesting lineup. Uh, pinakita rito ni Coach Goldwyn Monteverde. Sinasabi nyo ka kanina, Sir Ben, yung depth talaga. Parang they, they almost have a complete lineup from that UAAP Finals uh, game. 
plus you add up yung mga studs like Carl Tamayo and Jerry Abadiano. Do you see NU as one of the favorites for uh, this year's NBTC tournament? Definitely, definitely Randolph. Medyo, itong NU stacked ang lineup nito. Like you mentioned, yung finals lineup nila, almost intact. Tapos sa dagdagan pa ng mga players who are undergoing residency, residency sa UAAP. The others, medyo walang yung ibang mga players nila. Nag-college na, kaya wala sa lineup nila. So, I see NU being one of the top teams here sa NBTC. You see there, James Barrera scoring the free throw. But quick to answer is Kevin Tiambao for NU as the Bullpups take a 20-15 to 15 lead with 8 minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Again, we are live on Hoot X Basketball and at the SMNBTC Facebook page. We would like to greet all of our viewers on our social, social media platforms, I mean. As we saw there, another stop for NU. A hefty Alec Tan going to the score is able to check in as NU overshoots that one. I believe that's Jason Puray. Now, nice spin there by Harold Alarcon. 20 to 17 for NU. Alarcon, great play there, showing his ability on offense. Bacolod needs more than that, from, more, more from him as we go along to this game. May mga nagpapabati sa inyo, Sir Ruben, si Ian Rosela, at si Jonas Narado. Uy, boss, boss Ian, kumusta ka? Tama ba mga sinasabi ko? <laughs> As we see here, Maholo Taitong, Ryan Cruz, in the floater. He goes short, Alarcon stays on the play and gets rewarded. Harold Alarcon with his fourth point of the game. As Maholo Taitong trims the lead down to one. Alarcon keeping the game close as you see here, Kiambao scoring inside, Randolph. Big, big guy down low for Coach Goldwyn Monteverde. Kevin Kiambao brings the lead back to three with Tama. seven minutes and 38 seconds remaining. Kita mo naman yung lineup ng NU, Randolph. Dalawang big sa ilalim, Tamayo and Kiambao. Napakasarap na luxury nun, Sir Ben, when you have guys like Carl Tamayo and Kevin Kiambao manning the point as we see here. Open, but Cyril Gonzalez was hounded there by James Barrera. Ryan Cruz finds a crack, but another short floater. And you, five on one play, out of control. Carl oh Tamayo, just too big inside. 24 19, seven minutes to play for NU. Too big, too strong, Randolph. Itong si Carl Tamayo, five point lead for NU. Medyo tinatapik na ni Coach Goldwyn Monteverde yung future niya talaga. No? It's an experience for them before the UAAP season. As we saw there, Ryan Cruz finally getting the floater. Uh, they positioned themselves as a powerhouse in the UAAP Junior, sir. After failing against Ateneo, tingin nyo gaano, kapal gaano pa kalaki yung chance ng NU with this young lineup of theirs. Napakalaki, Randolph, because seeing the other teams looking at the defending champions, Ateneo. They may have Kai Soto, pero mawawala sa kanina si S.J. Bilanggel and Dave Ildefonso. They'll have Fortsky Padrigao coming next year, pero itong Enyo talaga. Konti lang nga nawala sa kanila dun sa last season. Tapos may madadagdag pa. So, ganun kalakas ang Enyo for the coming season. Jason Puray drills the three as Enyo takes a 27-21 to 21 lead. Five minutes and 59 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Again, the winner of this game will face Adamson in the Sweet 16 tomorrow here at Mall of Asia Arena. The loser will be demoted in Division 2 where they will face Notre Dame of Mid-Sayap. Medyo crucial talaga yung mga laro as, as, we, uh, as the wins continue to pile on. The competition gets tougher and tougher. Uh, Coach, uh, I mean, Sir Ben, Yung Baholod Taitung, they've been dominating yesterday. They've been dominating in the local tournaments. Ano yung nakikita ninyo na dahil lang kung bakit they, they're staying in this game despite, alam nyo overwhelming favorites yung NU dito compared dun sa ibang regional champions na parang alalaki ng nilalamang ng mga Manila teams. 
well, itong bata, uh, I mean, Bacolod, because of uh, their three players, uh, James Barrera, Harold Alarcon, tsaka si Ryan Cruz, they have been keeping this game close. They have the skills and talents na makamatch up dito against Enyo. So, because of that big three, kumbaga, big three ng Bacolod, they are uh, keeping this game close against this formidable Enyo squad. And sinabi nyo ha, uh, Sir Ben, uh, Harold Alarcon just missed out on making the N uh, NBTC 24, which will play on Friday for the All-Star Game. But he's showing why he deserves uh, consideration for that spot. NU has three players that will play there. As we see there, uh, Antonio Cacho missed the jumper. Uh, playing at the All-Star Game on Friday will be Ryan Amsali, Terence Fortea, and Miguel Oxon. Oxon misses the three there. But on the cleanup job is Kevin Kiambao again. Grabe talaga tong uh, flexibility din ng Enyo. They can shoot from the outside. Itong lineup na to, Oxon, a known shooter. Tapos they can also go to the post kay uh, Kiambao and um, Tamayo. You mentioned earlier James Barrera buries the corner three to trim the deficit to 5, 29 to 24 for Enyo. And another stop there for Baholod Taitung with 4 minutes and 36 seconds remaining. Changes for both teams. And you have to commend Bacolod din, no? because ay papalit-palit ang lineup ng Enyo. They're still hanging on to this game, mainly because of their guys like uh, Alarcon and, and um, Barrera. The question now is, meron pa ba, baka naman mapagod sila, so we'll see kung anong mangyayari dito, Randolph. But we saw there, Harold Alarcon taking it inside to trim the deficit 3, 29 to 26 for NU. Four minutes and ten seconds remaining. As NU goes inside, they couldn't handle the ball, but NU will retain possession. The referees tell that Bakolo Taitung got the last touch on that one. Nice interior pass, almost a nakaw play, but NU couldn't get the hold of that ball. And yun, uh, I mean, Bacolod, uh, nagkumpul-kumpul sila sa paint uh, knowing because of the strengths of the, the bigs of uh, NU, they settled dun sa paint para madepensahan yung, ang, yung bullpups, Randolph. Medyo iba nga yung nakikita natin sa NU kasi parang nung UAAP, they're more of a three-point shooting team. And of course, when you have guys like Carl Tamayo and Kevin Kiambao, you need to exploit that strength. But as we saw there, Paul Manala drilling the three to make it a 32 to 26 lead. And you see that in that play, Manalang, mayroon siyang space dahil nga dun sa, uh, sa yung, yung uh, chance na magpunta sa post itong Enyo. Na open tuloy yung mga shooters ng bullpup sa uh, Randolph. Alarcon tried to respond with his own three, but misses. NU quick to go on the break. Coming in for NU is Pau Havilunar. As uh, Kevin Kambao, a solid showing for him. He gets a breather from Coach Goldwyn Monteverde. Ito si Pau Havilunar. Hassel player ito. He can get those rebounds. As you see here, Amsali scoring. Ryan Amsali reminding everyone why he is an NBTC All-Star. He's a very versatile player. He can take it inside and outside, as we saw here. That's Alan Kagalawan who misses the three. Again, quick on the break. Manalang misses on the rebound. Is I believe that's Kagalawan again. This is a crucial uh, stretch here for uh, Taitung. We see um, Barrera. Valencia. Kaya siya lang ang nandito while, bare, uh, while the others nasa bench including Alarcon, uh, Randolph. Fritz Valencia drills that long bomb but again going on the inside is the ball pops as uh, Pau Havilunar will troop to the line. Two minutes and 14 seconds remaining in the second quarter. 
Villonar overshoots that one. Talagang documented yung struggles ni Pau Villonar sa free throw, sir. No? Yes, eh, sa UAP, naging struggle nga niya yan. Although he connects on the second free throw. Two minutes and 12 na lang na natitira dito sa second quarter, Randolph. Reverse commentator jinx, di ba? <laughs> <laughs> Usually, pag binabati mo, nagmimintis yan eh. Pero nung binati natin, nakashoot si Pau Villonar. As we see here, James Barrera missing. The struggles continue for Bacolod Taitung, but they're hanging on. Amsali. Oh, wow. He finds Havillonar inside. 37 to 29. Now an eight point lead for NU with one minute and 40 seconds remaining in the first half. And Valencia. Valencia. Thought about the three, takes it closer. That one goes short. And you, and another chance. Manalang. Okson, Amsali, 15 footer. He overshoots it. Barrera, hounded by three defenders. Bahol Taitung recovers. One minute to play here in the first half. Galawan. Valencia. Floater, one-hander, won't go for Barrera. He has been missing a lot of those 15 footers. As we see here, oh, a steal for Baolo Taitung. Valencia against Amsali. Valencia will get the roll. Valencia on the break. Tignan natin kung mag-work ito yung running game nila for Bacolod. We have only 30 seconds left in the game. Or in the second quarter, Randolph. Amsali showing his frustration there as he fouled James Barrera. 27.4 seconds remaining. NU is holding on to this 37 to 31 lead. Parang championship yung feel, sir, Ben. Eh. Yes, ito nga ang... I'm sure this, this is the best game of the day, eh, Randolph. Uh, yung mga previous games natin today, medyo lopsided yung iba. Pero ito, second quarter na, pero anim lang alamang ng NU. As we saw there, Allen Kagalawan goes baseline and connects. Four defenders from Baol at Taitong. And Pau Havillonar gets the foul. And this is a crucial foul here for Bacolod. Um, Barrera committing his third foul with only 10 seconds to play here in the second quarter, Randolph. Medyo mahirap yun. Apat na yung bantay mo. Hindi nyo pa nakuha yung stop. Parang ang, ang sakit nun para sa Bacolod Taitong. As may 10 seconds remaining tayo sa first half as Havillonar goes 2 for 2. Bacolod will call timeout. NU takes a 39-33 lead. Yung gantong kalahing lamang, ito ba yung medyo makakapagpabigay ng ginhawa kahit papano ng konti para kay Coach Goldwyn Monteverde heading to the halftime break? Yes, uh, Rando. And kaya nag-timeout dito ang uh, Bacolod. They, they need this offensive play. Hindi nila, they can't afford to trail by 6 points at halftime as much as possible. Um, dumikit sila dito, Randolph. Bacolod Taitung showing great grit for uh, representing the regional champions. Medyo hindi natin nakitaan ang success yung ibang regional champions dito sa first round. Uh, almost all of them have been demoted to Division 2 after suffering first round defeats. But they are keeping in step with the UAAP runner-ups as we see here. Baholod with 8 seconds to get a shot. Valencia will draw a foul. A lot of break there on the part of NU. Akala ni Manalang maaago na niya ng bola pero na foul pala niya itong tiga Baholod. Kagalawan on the inbounds pass. Kagalawan. Another strip there for NU. Three seconds to shoot. Remaining here for Bacolod Taitung. Alarcon checks back in. Medyo safe to say na siya yung kukuha ng final shot dito yes. sa, first uh, sa first half. As we see here, tignan natin ang play ng 
uh, Bacolod dito. They're going for Alarcon. Turnover for Bacolod Taitung. Great effort there by Pau Havilionar showing how pesky of a defender he is. And NU will have possession with 2.8 seconds remaining. As we see there, Oxon. He beat the buzzer, but he couldn't get the shot down. 39 to 33 for NU. An entertaining game we're having here. Sir Ben, thoughts nyo sa first half? NU showing their might uh, and their deep bench. Alos uh, lahat na dito gumagawa for NU, but credit to Bacolo. They're keeping, uh, they're still in the game. They're very much in this game. Anim lang alamang ng NU, so Let's see kung anong adjustments ang gagawin ng Bacolod. Harold Alarcon has come to play in the first half yesterday. Medyo slow start siya and uh, eventually exploded in, in the second half. Today, may 9 points na siya but he has 3 fouls. Medyo kailangan ingatan yon kung gusto ng Bacolod ay itong na makastay sa larong to. Yes, they need the uh, Barrera very bad because Kailangan nila ng isa pang scorer. Um, Barrera, in, in their last game, he had 21 points and 11 rebounds. So, he can really do it all for Bacolod, Randolph. Sa inyo side naman, Sir Ben, were, were you expected dun sa balance scoring? May nakita tayo maganda from from Kevin Kiambao and Carl Tamayo. But aside from the two, medyo may mga nagustuhan ba kayo sa pinakita nila ng first half? Well, aside from them, meron ding mga contributions itong si Pao Habilinar, although limited minutes, meron siyang mga rebounds, important rebounds. As well as Cyril Gonzalez, he did a very good job in his short stints of first half. That's what we expect from NU, that deep bench that they have. Again, this is the 2018 Exped SM NBTC National Finals. First round duel between NU and Baholod Taitung High School. Uh, we'll be back in a bit as we deliver the second half after this break. We welcome you back to the 2018 Exped SM NBTC National Finals. First round action for the final game today between NU and Bacolod Taitung High School. Again, this is Randolph Leongson with Sir Ruben Terrado on the hall. A fitting main event for us here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Entertaining game here between Bacolod Taitung and NU. NU showing its class as one of the early favorites 
for the tournament while Baholod Taitung is proving why they belong in this tournament of champions second half in a bit And Bacolod, um, although they are down by just six, I believe in first quarter start nila, that gave them confidence. They are now supremely confident going into the second half, Randolph. Bacolod Taitong gets the first kick at the basket here in the third quarter. Fritz Valencia to Ryan Cruz. Valencia has turned out a solid performance in that first half. As we see here, Cruz takes it by himself. That won't go. And you on the attack. Manalang looking for someone to pass the ball. Nice passing there for NU, but they fail to cash in on that attempt. Valencia. Alarcon, Alarcon sizing up his defender. Ten seconds. Alarcon seems to have believed the lies from the NU bench counting the, the shot clock down. At nakita mo doon ang bantay niya, si Carl Tamayo. So nahirapan talaga doon si Barrera, Randolph. Do you believe, uh, Sir Ben, na uh, yung ganyan na uh, Coach uh, Goldwyn giving much exposure to Carl Tamayo. He's not sticking to his guns, yung reliables niya sa NC. Shows na at least kahit papano, itong Baholod Taitung earned a bit of his respect in that first half. Yes, uh, that's true. And again, an, an opportunity for Coach Goldwyn to use um, Tamayo with the UAP lineup. So again, this is also an exposure for him na na for the UAAP in preparation for that um, return sa Liga Rando. Alarcon misses his shot. Tamayo passes it outside. Back to Tamayo. Tamayo takes the 14-footer. Kiambao was there for the cleanup but no go. And although na miss ni Carl Tamayo yun, you can see his range na he can shoot from that um, 15-foot uh, jump shot. You can see na talagang multifaceted ng game nitong si Carl Tamayo. He can score inside and he can shoot from the outside. Cacho takes the three. That won't go. And again, Enius size being evident there as Carl Tamayo gets the basket. Nakita mo yun, Randolph. Tamayo was guarding the perimeter players and then nung nakuha ng ng NU yung rebound. Siya pa yung tumapos ng fast break. NU with a 41-33 to 33 lead against Baholo Tahito as Ryan, Ryan Cruz drops his defender. Alec Tan too big but can't muscle his way inside. Cacho travels. And again, pumasok na doon yung intimidation factor. You can see, hindi makapasok yung dalawang Baholo players because of Carl Tamayo, Randolph. Alec Tan is not a small dude, medyo hefty, pero when it comes to height, Carl Tamayo is just unstoppable as we see there. He gets the hoop in the arm and a possible three-point play. Unstoppable is the word, Randolph. Grabe na itong pinapakita ni Carl Tamayo. He now has eight points. He can add to the NU's lead with 7.13 left in the third quarter. Medyo natahimik yung mga fans natin dito sa Mall of Asia Arena who are cheering for Baholod Taitung as Carl Tamayo completes the three-point play, reminding everyone that NU, it's their home floor, yung Mall of Asia Arena. Meron sila dito specific na, na locker room, di ba? Yes. Yes, Randolph. And Baholod this need, needs to score here on this possession. If not, mukhang lalayo pang lalo itong NU. Almost a turnover there for Baholod Taitung, but... They will regain possession. Alec Tan will troop to the bench. He can't provide the answer. And now Alarcon was denied. That's almost a great play for Baholod Tahitung. Great nose for the ball for Harold Alarcon. But Kevin Kiambao well read that play. Itong si Kiambao. Uh, and um, itong si Tamayo talagang dominating the paint inside and out. Valencia. 
would not beat the shot clock and you on the attack. Another miss for Fortea. Bacolod will get the ball. Referees conferring. Yes, it will be Bacolod ball. 44 to 33 for NU. Suddenly an 11 point lead for the UAAP runner ups. Six minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 11 point lead here for Enyo. Kailangan ng kuminos dito ang, ang Bacolod. As we see Ryan Cruz converting. Ryan Cruz showing why he is one of this team's solid players. No look pass, Carl Tamayo again. Fortea missed that three, but Cacho was forced to foul Kevin Kiambao. The height difference was there, was so evident. He can't do anything about it. Kiambao gets the short jumper to go. Now an 11-point lead. Oh, sorry, that's Carl Tamayo. 46-35 for NU. Ryan Cruz needs to get himself going here. Cruz will go for the three, and he makes it 46 to 38 for NU. Five minutes and 38 seconds remaining. They needed that three, Randolph. Medyo lumalaki na ilaman ng Enyo. They need some spark here uh, in this third quarter. Coyoja misses the three. Ryan Cruz stretches for the layup. Down six. Bacolod tayo two. 46 to 40. Bullpups are just chucking threes here. As they go inside, Tamayo again. Three-point play for the young guy with 5 minutes and 11 seconds remaining. Grabe itong pinapakita ni Carl Tamayo using his height and heft over um, Alarcon. 13 points na siya in this game. 8-point lead for Enyo. Pwede pa niyang dagdagan ito. I'm not surprised dun sa performance ng Carl Tamayo as he misses that freebie again, commentators jinx. But 13 points for the young guy in his first stint dito sa NU sa gantong level of competition what more can we expect from this guy Sir Ben if mag blend in pa siya dun sa veterans nila kaya grabe ang potential nitong si Carl Tamayo he can really spread the floor open up shooters sa NU na isa rin sa mga strength ng team so grabe talaga ang potential nitong bullpups with Tamayo around as we see there, Paul Manalang gets the steal and easily scores. 10-point lead for NU. Pinag-usapan lang natin si Carl Tamayo. I think this is his mom, Herms Tamayo, who's watching on our Facebook live stream. Again, we are live at HoopX Basketball and at the SM NBTC League Facebook page. A fitting main event here in the first round. One final spot in the Sweet 16 up for grabs between Bacolod, Taitung, and NU. Four minutes and 43 seconds remain in the third quarter. As we see, Ryan Cruz missed the three. Cacho battles against Ryan Amsali. Bacolod, Taitung will get the ball. Itong Bacolod, although um, training sila by 10, you don't feel a sense na parang natatambakad sila because kaya naman manila they are, they are stable enough they can get some offense from their players and ito pumatakbo ang Enyo Randolph see here Paul Manalang blocks Enyo's next play Portea passes it to Abadiano Abadiano misses it's the Baholo Titans turn to rattle the Enyo Sino ba talaga ang may home court advantage dito, Sir Ben? Grabe rin itong supporta na nakakuha ng Bacolod Taitong. Um, marami, meron din silang contingent dito, Randolph. They're supporting their players. And syempre, marami rin mga tiga Bacolod dito sa Manila. Wild shot there from Christian Gamao Fortea to Amsali. Oh, sorry. That's Amsali, yeah. That's Ryan Amsali with the reverse. And you... Takes a 52 to 40 lead, three minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Kanina pa natin binabate si Raya, uh, si Carl Tamayo. 
What about Ryan Amsali, Mr. Intangibles for this Bullpups team? Itong si Ryan Amsali, dahil nga sa pinapakita ni Carl Tamayo, parang nakakalimutan na siya, pero he's a very versatile player. He can, he can score sa post, he can shoot from the outside, meron siyang jump, jump shot, and also he can bring down the ball. As, as shown kanina, siya pa yung tumapos ng layup para sa Bullpups. Medyo maganda rin yun. Nakikita natin from Bacol at Taitung, though they are down 12. They've acknowledged yung advantage ng bullpups sa ilalim. They were getting blocked and they were bringing yung bola sa labas. Unfortunately, yung, yung attempts ni Ryan Cruz, ni Antonio Cacho, yung three-point isn't there for them. But let's see kung maiba, makukuha nila yung mga tres. 3 minutes and 40 remaining in the third quarter. Ryan Cruz putting a dribbling display. He gives it up. Nice break there. Cacho almost lost the handle. Cacho will take it. And he will make it. 52 to 42. And you, 3 minutes and 17 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Bacolo needed that basket. Uh, players scoring from other sources. Kailangan ng Bacolo dyan in order to catch up against this NU team. Cross court pass there. Another miss for NU. Bacolo Taitung is down 10. But tulad nga na sinabi nyo kanina, parang tight game eh. Uh, what has been the biggest plus for Bacolo Taitung so far? na parang kahit na malaki ang lamang nila I mean malaki ang lamang ng NU nakaka-stay pa rin sila sa, la sa laro and I think that's because of Ryan Cruz I, I was quite surprised that 13 points na pala siya so quietly he is leading this team as eto Bacolod naka-score na naman walo na lang ang lamang nila and a chance for a 3-point play for Taitung Christian Gamau showing that he can compete with the threes of NU. But can he complete the three-point play? He will not get the role. I am sorry to our Bacolod fans. I think I'm causing you free throws as Manalang misses the three. Rebound there for Gamau. Cruz. Eight seconds, but they will evade that. Cruz was hounded. He takes it. Medyo selfish basketball yon from, from Ryan Cruz. But that's a well-defended play as we saw there. Ryan Amsali making it a 10-point lead once again for NU. Amsali finishing the break. Like I said, big man who can run. At ito, sampu na naman ang lamang ng NU. Kagalawan misses. Rebound for Amsali. On the attack is the Bullpups. But they will turn it over. Medyo nagmadali doon ang Enyo. Bakolod, nakabalik agad sa depensa. As we see here, substitutions for both teams. Alarcon comes back for Bakolod Taitung. On the ball is James Barrera. Sorry, that's Valencia and now it's uh, in Tagamolia. Tagamolia. Thought about the three. Almost a good pass to Gamau. Baholod Taitung will retain possession. Five, when five seconds remaining on the shot clock. Harold Alarcon in the game. He's nursing two personal fouls, so kailangan din yung magtingat dito. Ang hindi natin nakita dito, Sir Ben, yung James Barrera, no? he was charged with. Three fouls in the first uh, half. Pero parang nag, nag, nag stay sila na si Christian Gamo yung, yung tao nila sa loob. As we saw there, almost a strong move by Michael Malonzo. But he overshot it. One minute remaining in what has been an exciting game between Bacol at Taitong High School and NU Bulldogs. Uh, Bullpups rather. Alarcon makes his move inside but travels. I think he was begging for a foul in that drive. 
Pero great defense there on the part of, I believe that's Jason Puray. He stayed in front of his man. At yun, nakapwersa ng traveling. You saw there, Puray drills the corner three. 57 to 44, and you lead is up to 13 points, 30 seconds remaining. And now an offensive foul being charged against Joel Bakilar. Sali. Now, Puray again. Oh, that's a turnover. Baholod Taitung will gain possession with 15 seconds remaining in the period. Miscommunication on the part of NU. As we see, babalik na sa game itong si James Barrera. We see here our, our viewers urging Baholod Taitung strong support from our friends there. As we see here, Harold Alarcon turns it over. He will not beat the buzzer. Great Very effort Gonzalez. though from Cyril Gonzalez as NU takes a 57 to 44 lead over Baholo Taitung. 13 point advantage heading into the final frame. Again, the winner of this game will advance to the Sweet 16. Facing Adamson, loser will be demoted to the Division 2. They will play Notre Dame of Mid Sayap tomorrow. Again, you can watch uh, the games live on our Facebook. It's at HoopX Basketball and at the SMNBTC League Facebook page. Or you can also watch the games live here at the Mall of Asia Arena. Tickets are just for 20 pesos where you can possibly watch the future of Philippine basketball. Action is also being held at Cuneta Astrodome. Admission is free there. And we got 10 minutes of action remaining here in the first round. Again, an entertaining basketball being shown here by these two champion teams. Very entertaining indeed, Randolph. And nakita natin kanina on your screens that the Taitong, they are called the Thunderbolts. Mapping up a play dun sa kanilang huddle. Incidentally, nasa bench ng Bacolod Taitong. Isa sa mga kilalang mga personalidad sa Bacolod, one of them. Si Roger Montalbo, he is the father of Kim Montalbo. As well as their head coach, si Dexter D. Kung ang kwento sa akin, one of the coaches of James Yap when he was young. Grabe talaga yung talent pool na... Sa Bacolod, no sir. Actually, sa Negros Island, di ba nga? Guys like Jeff Chan, James Yap, yes. all guys who are making their names in the PBA and also in the UAAP. Like si Kim Montalbo, who is uh, having a great career dun sa Lasal in the UAAP. Malay natin yung mga batang to, like sila Harold Alarcon, they get a scholarship in their colleges and show their, their game dito sa Manila. As we saw there, uh, Carl Tamayo, Again, scoring 59 to 44 for NU. Another turnover. Alarcon was forced to foul. Cyril Gonzalez on that play. The foul is on Alarcon, right? That's his third foul. So, crucial stage here for uh, Bacolod. Tatlo na ang fouls ng both of their key players in Alarcon and Barrera. Parang kung ikaw yung coach, wala ka na rin magagawa kasi 9 minutes and 12 seconds remaining. You can't afford to sit out yung mga leaders mo na yun yung pinanggagalingan talaga ng opensa eh. As we saw there, Cyril Gonzalez make two of his freebies. NU has taken a 17-point lead, 61 to 44. Can Baholod Taitung find an answer in the next 8 minutes and 55 seconds, Ryan Cruz tries to provide that answer. But he was bottled up. He finds a crack. Barrera was fouled. Barrera going to the line. Ito siguro yung kailangan ni Barrera to get his groove. So, para makadeliver siya sa fourth quarter, he, has, he only has 9 points in the game. Pero, malay natin. 
biglang mag-explode siya for, dito sa ating fourth quarter. Siguro part na rin ng struggles ni James Barrera dito was his foul trouble. Again, picking up three fouls in the first half. That should take a lot of your confidence away as he buries two free throws. He now has 11 points and you still lead 61 to 46. As we saw there, Jerry Abadiano buries the three. Now an 18 point lead for NU 64 46. Can Baholod find an answer? Another short attempt there by Andy Villamer on the break. NU again. Malonzo misses, but they recover. Malonzo with a no look pass to Ryan Amsali. What a great play! 20 point lead for NU. Unti unti nang lumalayo itong NU Randos. Marami nang gumagawa sa kanila. Abadiano. Tapos ito ngayon, si Malonzo naman. Michael Malonzo makes it a 22-point game. NU is slowly breaking away from Baholod Taitung, 68-46. 7 minutes and 58 seconds. Going back dun sa previous play, yung magandang connection, Ryan Amsali now has 12 points. Sabi nyo nga, di ba? Mr. Intangibles, Mr. Uh, Napaka-versatile. Tahimik din yung 12 yes. points ni Ryan Amsali. Yun nga rin sabihin ko sa'yo, Randolph. Uh, itong second, second half, ang highlight nito, yung dominance ni Carl Tamayo sa ilalim. Pero hindi gano'ng napapansin yung contributions dito ni Ryan Amsali para makalayo itong bullpups dito sa Bacolod. Again, that's just the example of how strong this Bullpups team is. One game, it might be Carl Tamayo. One game, it might be Ryan Amsali. Medyo tahimik pa nga dito si Terence Fortea. As we see here, Ryan Cruz bring the ball down. He has been silent, but he has 13 points. But they need more of that. James Barrera with another one-hander. Couldn't get the roll. Amsali again. Medyo magugulat ka ba kung double-double na sa Ryan Amsali dito? Hindi na ako magugulat. Parang natural na kay Amsali ang mga double-double na yan sa basketball games niya. Kevin Kiambao works inside again. 70 to 46 for NU. 7 minutes and 20 seconds away in what could possibly be a collision course against an Adamson team. Medyo interesting yung duel na yun ha. Yes, Randolph, ang daming storylines doon. Kung matatandaan nyo, si Coach Golden Monteverde, dating naging coach siya ng Adamson. Tapos sila Carl Tamayo, Jerry Abadiano, were former players of Adamson kahit nung mga days nila sa Pasarel. Napag-champion nila Carl Tamayo at Jerry Abadiano itong Adamson during their younger days. So magandang labanan nito para sa second round kung mamimaintain ng inyo itong kanilang kalamangan. Cyril Gonzalez all alone. He beat two defenders. 72 to 46 now for NU. Going back to Adamson, nakita natin na fellow UAAP teams, sino pa rin ang liyamado doon if things hold on until the end? Obviously, on paper talaga ng mga NU. They have Carl Tamayo, Jerry Abadiano, talaga napakalalim ng ng um, bench nitong Bullpups. On the other hand, itong Adamson, they went through the seeding round. They actually beat uh, a formidable US team na may two Division One players and Jalen Green, uh, one, the top uh, high school sophomore in the United States. So kahit pa paano, yung confidence nandun para sa mga bataan ni coach uh, Mike Fermin, Randolph. Again, uh, you've mentioned Jalen Green, uh, together with guys like Carl Tamayo, Ryan Amsali, uh, might be the future of Philippine basketball. Hindi lang po ito tournament ng UAAP and NCAA champion teams. Hindi lang ng Chinese League champions. Hindi lang ng Cebu champions. It's champions from all over the Philippines and also great recruits, great players from Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and USA who are fighting their their spot here in the 2018 Exped SMNBTC National Finals. Medyo knockout stages na tayo. Pag natalo ka, baba ka sa Division 2. As we saw there, another clean-up job 
for Kevin Kiambao. The lead continues to grow for the Bullpups, 74 to 48. Five minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this game. Harold Alarcon was just stifled in this duel as he tries the three. Finally connects from downtown, but it might be a bit, uh, too little too late. Medyo tingin niyo, Sir Ben. Well, mathematically possible pa naman, pero this is a big lead now, 23. Mas kailangan pa nila ng mas maraming three points dito from guys like Barrera and Alarcon. And also, force turnovers. Kahit pa paano, at least baka dikit lang. Tignan natin kung kakayanin pa ito ng Bacolod in the dying minutes. We've seen wild things happen before. Na kahit na tulad ngayon, lamang ang NU ng 23 points. Mali natin, in the next 5 minutes, may himalang mangyari as Alarcon makes his move. Alarcon will try for a 3 again. Can he make back-to-back? He was fouled there by Miguel Oxon. Might be the break. Bacolod Taitung High School needs. And I think even kung Bacolod, uh, will, kung mag-fail man sila sa kanilang comeback bid, at least meron silang confidence booster coming into the Division 2 uh, tournament. Kung, kung matalo sila rito sa game na to, this could be a good... Um, confidence booster facing this NU squad na sinasabi ko nga napakalakas talaga Alarcon airballed his first he makes the second and so does the third 2 of 3 in that trip from the line now down by 21 74 53 with 4 minutes and 50 seconds remaining in this game medyo ayaw naman siguro mangyari yun ni coach Goldwyn Monteverde lalo na alam natin kung gaano ka disiplinado yung Yung coaching niya. And with four minutes to play in the fourth quarter, four and a half minutes to play, yung strong, kumbaga, yung strong five pa rin ng nasa floor ngayon. Guys like Tamayo, Yambao, uh, Abadiano, sila pa rin lang nandito sa sahig para sa NU. So, goal, Coach Goldwyn really means business. They want to finish strong in this game. But they've been shooting blanks as in the prior possession. It was a wedgie and now... A traveling being given to Carl Tamayo. Just bad stretch of basketball being shown here by NU with 4 minutes and 13 seconds remaining in this game. Nakita mo yung ginawa ni Tamayo doon. Although kahit nag-travel siya, he received the ball sa, sa perimeter. So, ibig sabihin, mukhang kaya niyang gawin na bring down the ball sa papunta sa loob. You can see talaga yung potential ng bata. He can do so much para sa kanyang team. Ryan Cruz nails the floater. They bring the lead down to 19. Defense being employed here. By Bacolod Taito. Carl Tamayo takes it three. Another miss but another opportunity for NU. Carl Tamayo is making this game as his showcase. Saka grabe yung confidence na binigay ni Coach Goldwyn kay Carl Tamayo. Pinatira pa sa labas. So you can see a lot of his potential talaga. Tumira na naman ng tres tong si Carl Tamayo. Are they giving Carl Tamayo a chance to show his range dun sa three? They go on the other side. Another forced shot there. Baholo Taitung gets the ball. Barrera will take it strong. And score 74 to 57. Three minutes remaining for NU. Bacolod Taitung mounting a late uprising. Can they pull off a miracle? As Tamayo thought about the three. Another block hard collision there. Players falling. As we see here, Larcon fakes a pass and makes the pass to. Alin Kagalawan who gets the foul. Kagalawan will troop to the line. 2 minutes, 43 seconds remaining. 74-57. Pwede pa to. On that sequence, pinakita naman ni Harold Alarcon yung unselfishness na. He can, pakaya na niyang ilay up yun, pero he decided to give an opportunity to his teammate, giving him confidence as the, para sa mga next games nila. Allen Kagalawan could only muster a split on that one. Baholo Taitung desperate for points. They need to make those 
bonus shots as we see here Carlos Tamayo pass it to Miguel Pangilinan who drains the baseline jumper 76 to 58 for the NU Bullpups Baholod Taitong an admirable showing for the Ilongos but NU is just too strong Harold Alarcon from downtown Galing pa yata ang Marina Way yun, napakalayo, but that's just 3 points, 15 point game. Galing pa yata sa palapala ng Bangolod yung tirang yun, para kay Harold Alarcon. Or sorry, the... tama no, si Harold Alarcon. As we see Tamayo for 3! Finally, Carl Tamayo gets the 3 he's been craving for this 4th quarter. 79 to 61 to NU. Parang pamatay sunog na rin. Para sa Bullpups, yung tres ni Carl Tamayo, medyo inunti-unti ng Bacolod, almost got to within 15. Pero yun nga, 1 minute and 53 seconds remaining. Almost academic na kaya yung resulta ng larong to. I believe so, Randolph. 18-point lead, malaki-laki yung hahabulin ng Bacolod dito. But again, give credit to Bacolod. They showed that they can keep pace with NU. At least from the start, 10-0 ang start nila sa game na ito. Tandaan natin yun. So, that's a big confidence boost din para sa sa Bacolod Taitung. Now that they are going to Division 2, Randolph, unless um, a major miracle happens here, Randolph. Again, no shame for Bacolod Taitung. A strong showing for them. Ryan Cruz, could not get the three. Another chance for Baholot Taitung. Alec Tan with the rebound. Admirable effort from this Ilongos. Ryan Cruz makes his move inside. Alec Tan could not get the handle. And that will be another turnover for Baholot Taitung. One minute and 32 remaining in this game. Itong Bacolod, they, they really perform very well in this game. Siguro kulang na talaga sila sa height, sa ceiling to contend with teams here in Metro Manila but they showed na kayang-kaya nilang lumaban against Metro Manila teams and as well they can contend talaga dito sa buong Pilipinas and making and giving NU a scare dito sa Manila as one of the powerhouse teams taking a big lead to start parang in a way humble them you earn their respect parang silver lining na rin yun and Again, pag natalo sila dito, Division 2 awaits them. They're sure to be one of the favorites after this strong showing. Easily, Randolph, pwede namang hindi masyadong gamitin ni Coach Goldwyn sila Carl Tamayo para sa mga in preparation for the next games. Pero still, na-recognize ng Enyo na malakas itong Bacolod. So, magandang accomplishment na rin to para sa Bacolod Taitong High School. An evidence that walang... Madaling laro dito sa SMNBTC League. As we see here, final minute of action. And Baholod Taitong continues to fight. Alarcon has already sat. Uh, Baholod Taitong coaches giving some of their players a chance to hit the Mall of Asia Arena again. It's a rare chance for them to play in, in a venue of this magnitude. And napakaganda experience yan pagbalik na sa local leagues nila. Sobra, Randolph. Um, pangarap ng lahat ito, makalaro sa Mall of Asia Arena, kahit tayo. Gusto-gusto natin maglaro dito. And talagang malaking bagay ito pa sa kanila pag uwi nila sa kanila kanilang mga hometown. Ilang tao nga lang bang makakapagsabing nakapaglaro sila dito sa Mall of Asia Arena. A historic site. And as we saw there, Nikolay Ma misses. But Alec Tan, to the delight of his bench, uh, maybe just the final say as NU will take this 81 to 63 win against Baholod Taitong. Any thoughts dito sa panalo ng NU, Sir Ben? Although lamang na lamang ang NU dito, it didn't reflect kung gano'n naging competitive ang Baholod sa game na to. Very exciting one actually, Randolph, kahit ganito ang score. Parang maganda, sobrang ganda ng laro ngayon. And also, nakita natin yung potential ni Carl Tamayo. Grabe ang future ng Philippine basketball doon sa so pinakita niya ngayon game na to against Bacolod. 
again, the, the scoreboard doesn't reflect how competitive, how exciting this game was. We saw great games from Carl Tamayo, Ryan Amsali, uh, also from James Barrera, Harold Alarcon. But in the end, NU gets the final ticket to the Sweet 16. NU and Coach Goldwyn Monteverde will meet Adamson and Joem Sabandal in the Sweet 16 tomorrow. Bacolo Taitung, meanwhile, will go to the Division 2 and face Notre Dame mid Sayap at Cuneta Astrodome. Any final words after an exciting second day dito sa 2018 XPEN SM NBTC League? Looking forward na tayo sa third game, Randolph. Great matchups. Sinabi mo na nga kanina, NU versus Adamson. Napakaraming storylines sa game na yun. I'm excited sa mga darating na games. Also, yung Division 2. Maganda rin mga laban. I'm sure very exciting din ang mga games. Bacolod Taitung, I'm sure they will contend sa Division 2. So watch out for them in the next coming days. Again, a great day of action here at the Mall of Asia Arena for the second day of the 2018 Exped SM NBTC National Finals. The first round is over. 16 teams are down in the Division 2 as 16 teams advance to the Sweet 16. More exciting games to be seen tomorrow on both uh, venues. Again, here at Mall of Asia Arena, it's 20 pesos for admission. At Cuneta Astodome, it's free at, and, uh, admission. And you might just see the future of Philippine basketball playing in front of your eyes. Again, this is Randolph Leonson and Sir Ruben Tarado bringing you the, fir uh, the second day of action here at the 2018 XPED SM NBTC National Finals. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Again, thank you from all of the organizers of SM NBTC. Good night, everybody. Stay safe.